What's up world and welcome to Nuxtox Entertainment. My name is Jonathan and in today's video I'll be sharing with you a quick and easy method to overlay an animated GIF over a still image using GIMP. Now first I'll go ahead and start up GIMP, go up to file and import my background image with open as layers. And I'll do the same with my animated GIF. Now as you can see this is a pretty large image and I do not need the GIF to be so large. So I'll hold down shift and click here next to the eyeball icon next to the on the layers this will link all of them together then i'll select the background image hold down shift and press s on my keyboard to scale and i'll set this to 800 pixels then scale then i can go up to image and fit canvas to layers i'll hold down shift and click on the link again now that i've scaled down my image we can go ahead and start before we move on, I'd like to point out that you need at least one of your GIF layers to be the size of the image. Now, if you notice here on frame two, actually, let me go ahead and rename this to frame one. Okay, you'll notice here on frame two that it is cropped to content, which is indicated by this yellow border around the image. Now, you want at least one of them to be to the image size. You can do so by right clicking on your layer and clicking on layer to image size. The reason for this that will avoid any cropping offset. So now we can go up to filters down to animation and click on blend. Set the intermediate frames to 1. Uncheck loop and leave the max blur radius to 0 and click OK. Now GIMP will add a layer in between each one of your layers thus doubling the amount of layers that you originally had. Now if I hold down shift and click on this eye, you can see that frame two is a transparent, sort of a transitional um, layer, if you will. Same goes for frame four, but not frame three or frame one. So as you can tell, this is counted by two. So it would be two, four, six, eight, and so on. Now, if you leave it as it is, if we go down to animation again, playback, this is what you'll end up with. Now, if you don't want that, which I do not, you can delete every two frames. So in this case, I'll go ahead and delete frame two, up arrow twice, delete frame four, up arrow twice, delete frame six, and so on. You just repeat until you've deleted every number that's dividable by two. Okay, there we have it. Now we'll go back to filters, down to animation, and we'll click on optimize, difference. What this would do, it will reduce the overall amount of pixels that are in your different layers. If I hold down shift and click on this eyeball, as you can see, it does not have the entire background now, unlike the previous one. Making This will make your GIF a lot lighter. Okay, so I'll hold down shift, click on the eyeball, click again. And now we can go up to filters, animation, so you can preview your GIF. And there we have it, pretty simple. You can go to file, export, or use the keyboard shortcut, control E. And I'll go ahead and call this writer.gif export. Now you want to make sure to click on as animation. I'll personally check on the use delay entered above for all frames and set this to 135. This will overwrite this number right here for all of the frames. And you can also check on interlace. Now what this will do is if you share this online and anyone would so happen to have a slow connection, this will load a lower quality version of the GIF while the full quality or full resolution one loads. Click on export. And there we have it. Our GIF is now exported, or GIF, however you want to call it. Our GIF is now exported and functional with the background. So that was the quick and easy method to overlay a GIF animation with transparent background over a still image. If you like this video or learned anything new, feel free to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out the channel. If you didn't like it, there is a thumbs down option, but who clicks on that? If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you can go ahead and do that by clicking on the subscribe button and make sure to click on the bell notification icon so you get notified when we release new videos. 
And thank you for watching. This is Nuxtux Entertainment. My name is Jonathan, and I'll see you next time.